Rayman Legends 100% walkthrough. This will be Toad's story painting, which is the second major painting. And the first level, Ray and the Beanstalk. This level gave me a little bit of problems uh, because there was one King Teensy that I actually missed when I was recording it, so I had to do a little bit of editing to go back and find it, but, uh, you know, it, it's... they're all there. And this level is also a little bit weird because the lums can be tricky to get just because of the uh, floating around in these different streams of air. Like right there, I missed all those double lums just because I was not paying much attention to the way that you move inside the air here. And another thing with this level is that I am pretty sure it's a remake of one of the levels from Origins. And by pretty sure, I mean I remembered where everything was because I had played it many times in Origins, so Ubisoft remade, like, reused the level from the previous game in the new game. Uh, so far I haven't recognized any levels in Legends from Origins besides this one, so hopefully it's just a one-time thing, but I don't know, that's, <laughs> that's kind of borderline laziness if you ask me. So maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's just extremely similar. But I definitely remember that Teensy from Origins. So I don't know. But either way, I don't really like this level, uh, whether or not it's new or old. It's just kind of annoying, and it's, uh, the air, the mist, everything else is just not that much fun. But later on in the game, uh, the different streams of air and all this thing, all these different things that make you float really do help the fluidity of some of the levels. Is fluidity even a word? I don't know. Uh, be sure to get that teensy down there and then come up to this tree so you can get these link of these links of lums. That way you can just get an extra, I don't know, 40 or so lums there. And then make your way through this tree. Are these enemies, uh, these kind of weird fat, chubby-looking goblin things, they are the enemies from Origins, and, you know, for platformers, it's kind of known that they reuse enemies, but I was kind of expecting different enemies besides ones from the previous game, but, hey, Mario uses the same enemies all the time, so why am I complaining? It is always fun whenever you hit the enemy into the other enemy. You also have to watch out for these weird eye hands that come after you like that. And I believe on the Wii U, you might be able to tap them with a stylus to shove them down. But on anything else, you have to just avoid them. Uh, for this teensy, it's a little bit tricky. You want to wait for that uh, soccer ball to bounce before you hit it, that way you can hit it when it's at the right height. If you try to hit it as it's coming down, then you're probably gonna miss and it's gonna fly all over the place. And there are a couple more of these, uh, soccer ball teensies later on in the game, and some are very annoying while others, not so much. That one was one of the easier ones. And this next place hides the rest of the teensies in plain sight, and one of them it's pretty easy to miss, but if you're paying attention, it's like, oh, duh, of course they'll put that teensy there. But uh, at this point, you should have around 400 lums anyway, so you uh, should be able to get the 600 lum mark. And uh, using the extra four teensies that are in this location will help that along because four teensies is worth um, 100 lums. So in this little pocket is one of the teensies that I missed on my first playthrough of this level, which, as I said before, was sometime when I played Rayman Origins. And then you just want to bounce here and collect these lums. Remember to defeat as many enemies as you can. Uh, if they hit the top like that guy does, you won't get any lums, so you want to try to defeat them if you need extra lums. And hopefully you don't horribly miss the enemy if you try to ground pound them because <laughs> that was a uh, that was a pretty ma uh, massive miss there. So once you get past this next area and collect that final lum, or I think that's the second to last lum, then the goal screen or the goal gate, I don't know, the ending of the level will be afterwards, and that is it for. 
Ray and the Beanstalk.